Hi, my name is Bob and welcome back to the homestead, y'all. You know, Christy and I, were organic gardeners. We don't spray any chemicals for pests or anything on our plants. We plant wildflowers to attract beneficial insects to, to take care of the pest for us. Um, but sometimes you have certain pests that your beneficial insects, they do take care of them to an extent, but they don't completely get rid of them. Um, you know, the old saying is, if your plants aren't getting eaten by bugs, then they're not part of the ecosystem. And, and I feel that way. I feel that, you know, a certain percentage of our crops are going to get eaten on by pests, and I'm okay with that. But there's one pest that I can't stand. Um, of course, Japanese beetles is one. But another one that will destroy your tomato plants, and that's the tomato worm or the horn worm, or some people call them the tobacco worm. Um, the little green worms, they're the eggs that are laid by moth. The moth deposits their eggs on your plants, the larvae hatch, and they're little caterpillars. And I have several of them here. I've already pulled about five or six off. And I'm gonna show you how to pull those off today. We have a couple things that we do in the daytime if we find them, you know, we pull them off and either step on them, feed them to our chickens, or just get a cup and put a little bit of water in the bottom of it. And then pull them off, throw them in the cup, and then we take and feed them to our chickens. Um, but the best weapon that we have is this little flashlight. It's a little UV flashlight, which may be too bright out here to see, but you come out here right after dark and take this little black light, this little UV flashlight, and it'll light these worms up like a glow-in-the-dark poster, just like the old posters from the 70s and 80s, the old black light posters, how they would light up a neon color under a black light. Well, that's what these little worms do. They light up a neon green, and we'll show you that a little bit later after dark. But when you find them during the day, I want to show you what they look like and how you can grab them. They're not going to hurt you. Now they will grab a hold of you if you get the, let their feet get a hold of them. Some people don't like that. But I just grab them in the middle of their body, and pull them off the plant, and then throw them in some water. And once I found all the ones I could find during the daytime, I take and we feed them to our chickens. Now they're very hard to find in the daytime. Now on a cloudy day like today, they're a little bit easier to spot. Um, but most of the time, they're almost the exact same color as your tomato plant, and they just blend right in. But I wanna show you here on this plant, you can see there's no leaves on this stem, which I'm not sure if the camera's focused in on it. And this tips eat off. So that's a dead giveaway that the tomato worms are on here. I pulled this worm off yesterday, and threw him down, stepped on him. Um, but they are my nemesis. So I'm going to grab the camera and I'll show you what they look like on a plant. Okay, here they are, my nemesis. There's one right here and one right there. So you can see two of them that have the little horn on the end of them, which that won't hurt you. And when you spot them like this, they're, they're destroying your plant. They're eating your tomatoes up. They'll eat every leaf off of it. They'll eat the tomatoes off of it. So you need to get them off. Now, like I said, we can grab them, pull them off, put them in water. Now one trick I have learned, and I'll take you around back to our monster tomato grow and show you, and I learned this by accident. It's a solar light, and that light is to shine on our peacock and our chicken coop to, to keep predators away. We found that having light out there helps keep it away. But by chance, we figured out that light helps keep moths away too. So we don't get near as many of these worms on those tomato plants that are lit up at night than we do out here in our main garden. So let me get my cup and we'll pull these off and I'll show you what to do with them. Now if you don't have chickens or ducks to feed these to, then you can just put them in water and let them drown and they'll be fine. You can pitch them in your compost pile. But all you have to do is grab them, and squeeze them a little bit, pull it off, and drop them in your cup of water. So there we go, there's two worms, they'll drown in there, and they're not going to be eating our tomato plants. Now I'm going to search for a few more here, and then I'll take you around back and I'll show you that light. Ended up finding four more, so that's six total that I found. And tonight we'll come back out here, I'm sure we'll find a lot more. Because if you find one or two, that means there's plenty more where they came from. Because they don't just lay one egg at a time when the moth lays her eggs. you will lay dozens of eggs. Yeah, this is the little solar light I was talking about that shines on our monster tomato grow. I'll 
show you here. There's our tomato plants. Now we don't seem to get as many tomato worms on these, and I think it's because of that little solar light. Well, there's a tomato worm. We're using a UV light, a black light. You can see how they light up. Um, just like a green, the leaves are red. Those are the tomato leaves. You can see they're red. And the little worm lights up green. Okay, Christy's going to hold the light on him. I'm going to pull him off there. There you go. You can see what he looks like there. He stands out pretty much like a sore thumb. So we'll just pull him off there and we'll take care of him. So if you have tomato worms, get your UV light. You can see where Christy's shining around. It makes the tomato leaves turn red and the tomato worms will turn bright green. Makes them real easy to spot. It's probably not even a half inch long and there's no way you would see them with just the naked eye. You have to have one of these black light flashlights or UV flashlights. But he's right there. I don't know how well you can see it, but he's just a tiny little guy. So, and there he is. He might be an inch long. But there's no way without this light that we would ever spot any that small in the daytime. Okay, here's another tiny, tiny one. You can see him right there. I'll pull him off and we can show you. He's definitely only about a half inch long. So without this UV light, there's no way you could see that. Okay, here's another one. This is a little bigger one. You can see him underneath side of that limb. He's a little bit fatter one. So we'll pull him off. And there you can see. He's several inches long. A couple anyhow. Okay, number 24. Okay, so 24 was the final count for tonight. That's how we find our tomato worms on our tomato plants. If you have a better way, please leave it in the comments below so we can all learn from you. And of course, we found 24. There's probably a lot more on there that we didn't find. We do get down on our hands and knees and shine the light up from the bottom because a lot of them are underneath the leaves and you don't see them shining it from the top. So you have to get down, you have to look up underneath them. So I'm sure there's a bunch of them that we missed. But if you know a better way of finding tomato worms, please let us know. And as always, thanks for watching.